Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm sharing uh, an item and I'm doing this video because um, these are a um, very unique uh, ribbon holder that I made for a friend. Um, her favorite color is purple and she loves butterflies. This is like, took me three tries to make these. Uh, I use the waffle flower. They're called floss bobbin dies. It comes in three different shapes. It gives you the dies here. There's some other um, accent pieces that you can use. Um, you know, I haven't tried the flower, um, but I did use the uh, a butterfly die, and I didn't pull that out. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Um, yep. It's by Momenta, and it has two small butterflies, and it's kind of like a flower. Um, uh, arrangement you know like a garden uh, theme they don't put names on them um, but there's the number there I'll put it in the description it's 204 6118 by Momenta <clears throat> and that's this is my sample these are how I store my dies and I always put a sample on the back so I can kind of gauge when I'm looking um, at it if I'm deciding if I'm going to use it or not the size. I love this little butter these two little butterflies They're my favorite so I used this butterfly here and what I did was I um, These are my I used to call them the floss bobbin dies and I changed them to ribbon holders because I had a lot of people that were confused like why are they called that I only called them that because that's what the the die uh, description is so I've changed um, I think most of my descriptions on these I do have these in my shop the plain just plain you can order any color um, you can get uh, there's a set with Three, these three sizes um, in a listing or you can get just the large or you could get the medium I call this one the medium or you can get just the small I call that the small and you can pick any color I forget how many colors I have to choose from but I pretty much use most of the recollection uh, cardstock these are it took me three tries to get this the way I wanted it and because you do not see the butterfly in the back it's within the actual ribbon holder itself and that's how I wanted it I wanted it to be flush so I had to cut out the um, butterflies first and I glued let them dry and then cut them out so it was very tricky to get them to line up every time in the same spot but this is what I wanted to make for my friend and I'm doing this video just in case I get somebody that wants these so I will photograph these and have it on the ready they are not easy at all to make they take quite a bit of time because there's many steps involved in getting uh, to this process and they're not um, like thin they're very strong so I have quite a few customers that um, order these and um, put in uh, many uh, repeat orders this purple here I think is the I'll have to look at my color chart.
I think it is. I'll have to look. I did write it down so I would know what I sent her in case she wanted more. Um, this one here is the sugar candy. So that would be number five. That's how it's listed in my shop. So it would be sugar candy number one, two, three, four, five. It, it's that color there. I have other purples. Um, cool waters. It's a little bit darker. I kind of wanted to go a softer purple for her. Um, so that's cool waters one and two. Um, I think the soda pop one is really close to that color. It might even be. It's a little bit darker. Uh, that might be the only purple. Yeah, these are the just basics. Yeah, and these are all the greens. But these, this is the color chart I made from the recollection. Um, paper. So this this one here is the uh, Sugar Candy 5 and then I just used white for the butterflies. So I designed these this way here. That way uh, I should have brought some lace. Uh, she could uh, wrap her lace around and still set them up or put a ribbon here and still see uh, the butterflies. Um, I've done, you know, designed these in the past and I've done like a decoration here and then, you know, my customer said she didn't want to, she felt bad wrapping her lace around because she, she couldn't see the decoration there and that's what gave me the idea to put the decoration up here. So I really like how these turned out. It was trial and error and uh, it definitely was a labor of love, but um if I decide to put these in my shop, you would get a set of 24, and I haven't decided on a price, but they will be uh, quite a bit more than what my regular, uh, uh, just plain ones are, because there there is a lot of working parts to this, and there it takes quite a bit of time to get this just just like this. So. Um, just trying to think. Oh, and it would only be in this large size. And this size here is approximately five inches tall. And at the top and bottom, it's about two or three, a little over three and a quarter, about two and a half. In the center and then this width here is about two and a half so it's a really good size I have some that I have wide lace on and it works out really well so there's that um, and I think that's about it for this video I just wanted to make the video in case I do uh, need to sell these in the future that I can link this video with the listing. That really helps for people to see what they're ordering, especially if the um, if it is at a higher price, because they're trying to justify why are these more. Um, that way I can explain to you how much detail goes into this and how much time, because there is gluing time, drying time, die cutting time, and um, I do take these after they're done because whenever you die cut something, there's, um, I call them the wispies around. And I just take my sanding block and go around and knock all of that off. And that does take time. So there you have it. All right. That's the video for today for this. And um, we'll see how it goes. But I'm excited to get these off to my customer. Well, it's a happy mail. So there you go. All right. Take care. Bye.